Here is Wolak, cuts through and scores! Today's breakdown is going to be on the masterclass that Jackie Wolak put on last week on how to handle a face guard. Now, Wolak is coming off a first team All America season. Last year, she had 105 points as a true senior. She's back for her fifth year. Notre Dame has beat two top three ranked teams. And this past week, she put on big time performances against Brown and against Boston College in handling the face guard. We're going to go through a couple different examples and ways that players can be thinking about handling the face guard. And Wolak demonstrates virtually all of them in these two games. Now, I think the one big key to remember when it comes to handling a face guard is that it's a mindset. It's something that the defense is trying to do to take you out of the game, take you out of your rhythm. And how you play with the ball and how you play without the ball can be really impactful in terms of the impact that the face guard has on you and your team and your team's chemistry. Now, there's a lot of different ways that coaches can scheme for handling a face guard, but we're gonna go through a couple of them. And one of the biggest things I think in general is to be using some sort of picks, whether it's on ball, off ball, to get open in the face guard or to also free your teammates up. Now, even before we get to the pick play, I think there's a couple of keys to be thinking about when it comes to the face guard. Um, I think how you hustle with the ball and without the ball and the effort that you put in is key because it's going to be a 60 minute battle if not for overtime and how you try to fight all game and stay locked in for every single possession is going to be really important and Wolak did that all week against Brown in a clutch one goal victory and against Boston College in another one goal victory. I think you win with smart decision making. Just because you get the ball in the face guard doesn't mean you have to make the play every single time. I think you win with pick play. I think you win with occupying your defender. I think it's important to win with runouts, pick it up off the end line. We talked about picks, occupy slides, work with and without the ball. And now let's take a look at a few examples that Notre Dame does really well in incorporating Wolak. So let's work through back to the beginning here. One of the best examples that we saw all week was how Wolak got open without the ball when she was covered by Bell Smith. You're going to have to put in effort working to set up your cuts and working to get open. And watch how she's working around the crease, times that front side swing, and gets open right in front of the net. This was in the second quarter against Boston College, and this is one of the best examples of things that you need to do when you're in a face guard. Work to get the ball, whether it's open for a cut or whether it's open to help facilitate the ball movement around the perimeter. Another great example we'll see here against Brown is how Wolak draws the foul by setting up her cut from the backside. She's aggressive, she cuts hard to the net, and she's really working for it. That kind of effort is going to be key when it comes to getting open against the face guard. So timing your cuts and not being afraid to take the contact is going to help you get open. Now, the next big example that I think players can really be heads up and thinking about in using a face guard is winning the runouts. We saw three goals against Brown where Wolak was ready to win the run out in the race to the end line. We saw multiple more opportunities created and she's just heads up ready for backup and then she initi initiates that dodge. And so again, as an as a offensive player, when you're being face guarded, if you can get that ball or let your teammate hold for a second to let you pick it up, now you can initiate and get an attack. And you can see here, she's not afraid to turn the corner righty and turn the corner lefty to get open on those opportunities off the end line. Now, what I think Wolak also does when it ties back into decision making is she also doesn't press when it's not given to her. We, we see a couple good examples here, but there's times later in the game where Boston College and Brown are sending two to the ball. They're sending that early slide, and she does a nice job, I think, then of dragging double. She's not so quick to give it up, but she's not forcing the issue in terms of taking it on a double team when something's not there. We're going to see a couple examples of that, and I like to call that shopping. So we're going to see here, she runs off the end line. She's looking to facilitate. Brown's ready to send that help. She's slowing down the pace. You can see they're backing the ball. And again, she has to decide what she's going to do with it. She hits a nice skip pass. It doesn't result in anything, and then she's face guarded for the next bulk of the possession. There's obviously a strategy to where an offense can take the player who's face guarded out. And in women's, you could play 
6v6 instead of 7v7. There is benefit to that. It, it makes slides longer. But I think if you do that for too long in your whole strategy as an offense, you're removing your best player without trying, right? There's ways to get open here. And I think Wolak does a great job of that. You can see her decision making. She does a nice job of uh, facilitating the ball movement and just creating quality looks. They get a rebound goal there. And that's something that's important. Here's 12-12, five minutes left in the game. Boston College versus Notre Dame. She wins the run out. And now here is an example of her shopping. She handles the double team. You can see two are committed to the ball. But now she's less quick to give it up. She drags, she pump fakes, she carries through X. And then does a beautiful job of finding the skip pass over the top to Darty, who steps in from dead center. No one gets in the shooting lane and she sticks that shot low and away. The other thing I think that you have to be ready to do in your face guards is you got to be ready to score in different ways. And part of that is capitalizing on your eight meter opportunities. Uh, she scores a beautiful eight meter here. Uh, she scored five goals in this Notre Dame game. And that's something that I think is key to be able to do. Now, the next uh, couple examples that we're going to see here are how she uses uh, picks and fake picks and actually slips to space to receive that pass from her teammate. So uh, when we talk about incorporating the pick game, you see that her defender is possibly ready to help her teammate navigate the switch. Here now Brown is backing the ball and she's scanning the field. Again, because they're not pressuring heavy on ball, she can carry and work it, and then she can look to move it. So again, she's not forcing the issue every time. She's not always trying to make the play, but she's not afraid to hold it and carry and look to facilitate. And this is Notre Dame's best player. So this is just a great example here. She handles the foul. She draws the card in the third quarter in this example against Brown. Now, again, as we start to see a couple more examples here, 14-14, five minutes left in the fourth quarter. Now, this is a nice example of how, again, she threatens with the pick on ball, and then she slips out to space. And it's hard for number 14 on the Brown D to stay with her. And now she's facilitating. Again, Brown sends the early slide. They're committing that double to get the ball out of her stick. And what I love about this one is that she's ready to swing it to her teammate. The Brown defense has to recover, and their help and support is not there for the Ahern dodge. So again, as we talk about different ways for you to make an impact in a face guard, you can draw that double and drag and drag and then look to move it. And if your, your offense is ready to dodge, it creates advantages. So that was one example. Now it's 15-15. Next possession, one minute left in the fourth quarter. Again, she draws the double team. She makes the simple pass. Notre Dame starts to move the ball around the perimeter. And again, the next piece of this is now when you're being face guarded, you also have to understand that you're occupying slides. So look at this defender right here. She's locked off. She's not ready to help. She's not ready to support. And this is where your other Dodgers have to be ready to make plays and attack. That's exactly what Doherty does. She sticks the game winning goal near side low. Now, we, we showed a few examples of how you can use that pick and pop or that pick and slip to work to get open and make the defense cover you as a picker. And then that opens up opportunities to get the ball when you're being face guarded. Let's look at how Boston College counters that. So same idea here, BC slides off of Wolak, but they're ready to send that third defender and rotate into the ball. So that really effectively takes away that throwback look, even though it's a possibility. So Notre Dame smartly rolls away, they move it, and it's nothing there. And this is why I think, back to our mindset piece, you're going to be ready and have to stay locked in throughout the course of a game. Now, here's a nice example of using an off-ball screen to get open. So notice how this Notre Dame offensive player sets a pick, and look at how Wolak runs off that pick, and now she's able to get that ball and initiate her dodge. Takes a, a lower angle shot down the alley, but again, she's feeling it out. She's testing. It's early in the first quarter. BC sends an early slide. And again, that's just another way to get open. Here's another example here of using an off-ball screen. We see this bunch on the backside. She pops out the space. Ahern's ready to swing it. And now wolak has got it, and she's ready to attack. This next example, I think, is just, again, being ready to be heads up. 
as the Boston College D starts to slide. The face guard defender gets caught going with the cutter. And now Wolak recognizes that she's open. She's ready to pop out. They swing it to the backside. And now it's go time. Because that Boston College defense is ready to commit and send so much early help, this is where it's important for teammates to send those cuts. Doherty does a nice job here of backdoor cutting against the face guard. They get a great opportunity on cage. And those are the quality type of looks that we can still try to facilitate within the action. Last couple here to, to finish our breakdown. Another way that we can use the face guard is simply to occupy slides. So look at how Wolak here is in the high crease. All right, Notre Dame's about to initiate the alley dodge, and then she clears out, taking that defender with her. Choma clears out, taking that defender with her, and now they're isolating that 1v1, get a great angle on the dodge. And those are the types of things, if you're a player watching this, you want to make sure that you're recognizing that there's other ways that you can bring value to the offense. Now, I think you have to be ready to take advantage of opportunities in the face guard. Wolak got a green card in the ride. Look at her releasing from the box in the clear, and she knows it's go time. She's testing the waters. They're down three, four minutes left in the second quarter. She drags the double. She carries through X, and then she does a great job here of just being patient. She finds the cutter and big-time juice goal for Notre Dame in unsettled. We talked about hustle. Let's see another hustle clip here on the ride. She gets her stick up. She causes a deflection. And this is where, again, you can provide a lot of spark for your team in different ways. And there's going to be different ways that you end up with the ball in her stick. She does a nice job pushing the two-on-one here. She draws the shooting space, and then she gets the opportunity. There's a lot of ways to make an impact when it comes to being face guarded. I hope you see this master class that was put on by Jackie Wolak. She's one to watch. She's got 38 points through eight games for Notre Dame. They're really making a push, not only in the ACC, but around the country. Make sure you tune in and watch for how other defenses try to cover her, but she's shown that she can be effective in a variety of ways.